we pledge to you that we will root out the communists, Marxists, fascists, and radical left thugs that live like vermin within the confines of our country, lie, steal, and cheat on elections, and will do anything possible, whether legal or illegally, to destroy America and the American dream. Yeah, that's what dictator wannabes have done throughout history. And throughout history, there have always been a bunch of sorry-ass people who have either been so blinded by hate or have been brainwashed that they closed their eyes to the ultimate result of their embracing that hate. And let us not forget where this hate comes from. These people were haters long before Donald Trump came on the political scene. Why? You know the answer. Because they allowed the right-wing propaganda hate media to brainwash them into believing they were supposed to hate that they were supposed to hop aboard the hate train. There's a reason I refer to them as a right-wing propaganda hate media. The disgusting Limbaugh aberration, may he rest in pain, was indoctrinating people into his particular toxic brand of hate with his verbal bowel movements again, long before Trump came along. And this same media won't renounce Mango Mussolini for his latest Stalinist remarks either, proving once again that it is they who are the true enemy of the American people and democracy. And why would they renounce Trump? Trump is one of their former students. Before he ran for president, Trump repeated all the lies and conspiracy theories his brain-dead mega cult base did. He's just one of them. All Trump is doing is mirroring and emulating the right-wing propaganda hate media's decades-long mission of fear and hate-mongering, with Trump adding his own individual fascistic brand of hate as well.